Hello, I'm Dr. Ken Chapman, Director of the Asthma and Airway Center at the University Health Network and Director of our Pulmonary Rehab Program at the Toronto Western Site. I'm delighted to be able to introduce this DVD of basic pulmonary rehab exercises. How are you going to use this DVD? Well, first, you should consult with your physician and make sure that you can do the exercises described. You want to be sure there's no other medical problem, a heart problem, a joint problem, that would prevent you from doing some of the things we describe doing. And when you are given that green light, you'll want to begin the exercises gradually until you build up to the maximum, which is your maximum. And once you've achieved that level of fitness, you'll want to remember to keep on exercising to maintain that fitness. Is this a complete program of exercises? No, but we hope that once you've developed that exercise habit, you'll be able to consult with professionals and perhaps find other exercises that are helpful to you. This is going to be a basic guide, something that will keep you exercising using correct technique and a bit of a companion along the way. And what can you expect of all this effort? Well, if your breathing's a bit limited, we're probably not going to change those breathing numbers very much. But we do know that we can make those exercising muscles more efficient, stronger. We can improve your balance. And as a result, you'll be able to do more day to day. Patients tell us that when they've been through the program, they enjoy life more because they can do more. So by all means, start your exercise program. At least 30 minutes of endurance exercises daily is ideal. Sometimes 30 minutes is difficult to do, so it is important to pace yourself and start slow. Great examples of endurance exercises include walking, cycling, swimming, or simply repeated leg walking exercise while seated. Other exercises that focus on balance, strength, and flexibility are equally important. Never do strength training on the same muscle groups two days in a row. Your muscles need a day of rest in between in order to rest and recover and also to minimize the risk of injury. Always take care and listen to your body. My name is Miran Manji and on behalf of the Pulmonary Rehabilitation Clinic at the Toronto Western Hospital, part of the University Health Network, I will take you through a program that includes warm-up, breathing exercises, arm exercises, abdominal strengthening work, upper body strength training, lower extremities based balance, strength and flexibility exercises, and then we'll end with a brief cool down. Let's start by reviewing proper purse-slip breathing technique. Breathe in through your nose and simply exhale through soft exhalation through your mouth through purse lips as if you are whistling through soft exhalation. Let's try it. Inhale and exhale. Purse lips. Remember to breathe out slowly and not to be forceful as you exhale. Exhaling slightly longer than the time you took to inhale is also important. Incorporate purse-slip breathing technique in your daily activities and remember to always exhale on effort. This technique will help you to decrease the work of your breathing, reduce your shortness of breath somewhat, and help with overall relaxation. If you're seated properly and ready, we'll begin. Let's begin with the warm-up exercises. Sit up nice and tall, place your hands at mid-abdomen, make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, legs uncrossed. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, soft exhalation, purse lip breathing. As you inhale, feel the abdomen rise with each inhalation, exhaling through purse lips. Once again, and exhale. Good. 
Place one hand at your chest, the other at your abdomen. Inhale once again through the nose and exhale through the mouth. As you inhale, you should feel your abdomen rise more so than the chest wall. Switch sides, inhale and exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Place your hands at the lower half of your rib cage. Inhale deeply, lifting up those arms, exhaling through pursed lips as you lean forward. Once again, exhale. Last one. Sit forward in the chair. Clasp your hands behind your back if you can. I want you to try to inhale, lifting up those arms, holding that stretch, exhaling, leaning forward. As you inhale, you should feel a stretch right across your rib, rib cage. Hold, now exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Sit up nice and tall, chin is tucked in, your hand comes up, facing up towards the ceiling and hold that stretch. Switch sides. If you're leaning into the chair, try not to. I want your posture upright and tall. And switch sides. And last one. Chin is tucked in. Look down and hold that stretch. Now gently look up and hold. Look down and up. Look straight ahead. Turn your head to the side gently. Now face the other direction. Once again turn and turn your head. Good. Look straight ahead. Bring your arms up at chest level, over to the side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth softly. Purse lip breathing as you turn to face the other direction. Inhale. Now exhale while you turn. Purse lip breathing. Last one. Inhale. Now exhale. Good. Bring your shoulders up as high as you can, up to your ears. Drop and relax. Again. Last one. Good. Elbows together, hands together. Inhale. Exhale, per slip. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Okay. Extend your arms out. Tiny circles that move towards the back. It's important that they move towards the back because you're trying to correct your shoulder positioning. Okay? You don't want your shoulders drooping. And let's start the countdown now. So 10, 9, 8, 7, hang in there, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. Reach forward. Inhale, arms come up all the way. Exhale, reach forward, per slip breathing. Inhale, and exhale. Last one. Exhale, great. Bring your arms up in front of you and make a fist and release. And now, arm circles. And switch directions. Great, shoulder tap. Keep up with purse lip breathing now. Good, reach up and switch sides. Three and four, to the center for four. Two, three and four. Now reach down, two, three and four. Deep breath and release, purse lip. Great, now reach up for a count of four. Two, three, 
four, center for four. One, two, three, four, and now reach down. One, two, three, and four. Good. Sit back in your chair, place one leg up, point and flex the foot. And circles. Opposite direction circles. Now switch to the other foot. Bring your leg up, point, flex. And circles. And opposite direction circles. Great work. Feet flat on the floor. Lift your toes up and hold. And now your heels hold. Once again, the toes up and the heels up. Hold. Last one. Good. Okay. Tap forward with your foot. And at the box step. One, two, three, four. And now switch to the other foot. Once again, two, three, four. Last one. And start walking. Or pick up your pace if you wish, but remember per slip breathing. Stay with me if you can. Not stop and rest. Great work. Okay. When you're ready, stand up. I want the chair placed beside you so that you can hang on to it. Extend one leg forward. The leg that's extended forward, the knee should be bent. I want you to lean onto the stretch and hold. Feet should be flat on the floor, pointing forward if you can help it. And switch sides. Good, switch. Remember, continue with per slip breathing. Okay, feet are apart, but shoulder width high. And if you have long legs, maybe a little bit more, lean over to one side and switch to the other. Once again, switch, hold, switch. Last one and switch. Good. Okay, hang on to the chair if you wish. If you have good balance, maybe you won't. I want you to exhale and lift up on your toes. Good. Once again. Last one. Great. Okay. Now, if you're dizzy, you won't do the next maneuver, but if you're not, you'll continue with me. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean forward, knee slightly bent. Once again, inhale, reach up, and exhale leaning forward. And the last one. Inhale and exhale. That concludes the warm-up. Let's start with unsupported arm exercises. These exercises can be done either standing or seated. We'll start by doing 10 of each. However, if you can't, then you'll just do as many as you can. Remember to keep doing per slip breathing technique. Okay, let's begin. Punching bag. Nine and 10, arm jog. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Marching soldier, bring those arms up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lean forward as we do pump the tire. Bring those arms up and back down. Keep doing per slip breathing technique. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's do windshield wipers, side to side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Release the tension from your shoulders. 
Now we're going to do crawl stroke. Ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press stroke. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm sure you're starting to feel a little something right now, so remember, take time and breathe. First slip, climb the mountain. Reach up and pull. Seven, eight, nine, Crisscross. Arms are in front of you as you bring them across one another. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to do bouncing off the wall right now. It's a modified Tai Chi movement. So place one foot in front of the other and push forward and release. Exhale, inhale. Good. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. We're going to pull the weeds now. So bend forward. Knees are bent slightly so that you're supporting your back. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Row the boat now. And two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's move to upper cuts. Go. Punch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Play the piano. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stir the soup and it's in a cauldron, so big circles. Four and five. Switch directions. Two, three, four, last one, five. Great. That was unsupported arm exercises. abdominal exercises. So let's start by holding on to the chair and lifting your knees up while exhaling. Keeping your back straight. Shouldn't rock, okay? Lift, exhale. Slow and controlled movements. Hopefully you're feeling something at your lower abdomen. If not, you will soon. Nine. Last one. Ten. We will now work the oblique muscle, which is on the side here. So we'll start with alternating knee lifts as you turn from side to side. You can tap it either with your hands, like so, or use your elbows. Six, seven, eight, nine, excellent, ten. Great work, everyone. Pick up your weights and let's start handheld weight training. If you don't have a set of weights at home, soup cans also will do. Bring your weights down by your sides. Inhale, exhale, and lift those shoulders up. Purse lip breathing. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, 
nine, ten. Rest your weights on your legs. We'll take a ten second break. Bring the weights down by your side. Inhale deeply. Side arm raise. Just to the level of your chest, no higher, and back down. As you lift the weights up, exhale. As you bring the weights down, inhale. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was a difficult one, but it's out of the way. Shrug your shoulders and relax. Alternating front arm raises, so lift up. You want to exhale as you lift up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Four. Six. Make sure your movements are only to the level of chest and no higher. And now we'll do our last one. And rest. Shrug your shoulders if you need to. Ready? Okay, upward row. So as you lift your weights up to the level of the chest, exhale as you bring it down, inhale, and lift. Exhale, inhale. And this is the last one. And relax and rest. Sit up tall, chin tucked in. Bring your weights beside your shoulder. Inhale first. Exhale. And release. Once again. Three. Four. Change direction of your weight so that they're facing parallel. Once again, protect your neck. Chin should be tucked in. Inhale. Exhale and lift. And two. Three. Four. Five. Rest and relax. Next exercise, weights are in front of you, hands together, elbows together if you can, tricep, pec extensions. On the hard part is where you exhale, so as you bring the weights apart, that's where you should be exhaling, inhaling as you bring the weights back together. Eight. Nine, hang in there, 10, great work. Bring those weights down and rest. Shrug the shoulders. Let's move to chicken wings. Are you ready? A little bit longer perhaps? Good, bring those weights up. 
hands are together and you're going to lift those elbows up as you lift them exhale inhaling on the way down six seven eight nine and the last one ten rest and relax let's move to bicep extensions bring your weights down by your side inhale exhale folding at the elbows you bring the weights up and then back down exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down this is five six Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Bring those weights down, rest and relax. Shrug the shoulders if you need to. next series we'll move to is tricep extension so we're going to do single tricep extension so tuck your elbow in beside your waist and as you push down you want to do paste per slip breathing so exhale as you push the weight down inhale as you bring the weight up this is now six seven eight, nine, and ten. Switch to the other side. Again, you want to make sure your elbow's tucked in beside your waist and push the weights down. And as you push down, that's the part where you want to exhale. nine and ten. Roll those shoulders. And now let's end with the double tricep extensions. So exhale as you push down, inhale on the way up. And two, three, to hurry. Take your time. Nine and ten. Great work. Shrug those shoulders. Sit back in your chair. Cross your arms over your chest. Legs are uncrossed, feet are flat on the floor. We're going to do sit and stand exercises. So let's begin by inhaling, exhaling, reach forward, exhale to stand, and back down. And two, exhale, and inhale. This is a great exercise for your quadricep muscles as well as you tone your abdominal muscles as when you go to lean forward you're working your abdominal muscles if you have difficulty with your arms crossed across your chest you can hang on to the chair as well as you reach down and use your hands to reach up from the chair Hang in there, we're almost done.
Wait. Nine. Last one. And ten. That's a, a tough one, but it's out of the way. Sit back and relax and catch your breath. Okay, we'll have you stand now. You want to get the chair out beside you? That's it. You may choose to hold on to your chair if you have weak balance. Get ready for knee lifts. Exhale on the way up. Toes are pointed down and release. Two. Three. Four, five, six. This is a great way to build balance and strength for your lower extremities. And we're moving into the end nine. Last one. Ten. Great. We'll now move to the next one, which is folding back your legs with your foot flexed, okay? And for this one, you want to be careful that your legs aren't attached together where the knees support one another and you're not building the strength that you need, okay? Once again, if you have good balance, you may choose not to hold on to the chair. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Okay, you'll turn around and face your chair. Make sure that your arms are extended out. We're going to do hip extensions, which are straight leg raises within the frame of your body. And hold that stretch. It's a great hip stretch, but you want to make sure that you lean into this stretch. You lean forward into the chair for this stretch. So you want to protect your lower back. Exhale as you lift those legs up, and that's proper purse slip breathing technique. Nine, and last one. Ten. Great work. For side raise, you'll bring the chair out in front of you. Great. And you want to bring your leg up just off to the side at about a 30 degree angle and then switch to the other. For this stretch, you want to make sure that you hold your body upright. You don't want to tilt with each move. You want to hold yourself upright. Hopefully you're starting to feel something. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, which is ten. Let's start plantar flexion exercises. Hang on to the chair and come up in, on your toes, exhaling, and inhale on the way down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great work. Have a seat.
Let's begin. Cool down. Sit tall. Chin is tucked in. Look down for a count of three. And gently up for a count of three. And back down. And look up. Look straight ahead. Turn to the side. And gently turn to look in the other direction. To face the other side. And turn. And turn again. Look straight ahead, shrug those shoulders and relax. Take a nice deep breath in and release. Bring your arms up at chest level, over to the side. Inhale and exhale. Once again, inhale and exhale while you turn to face the other side. Last one, inhale and exhale. Bring your arms up in front of you. Turn them around. Inhale. Pull that stretch and release. Exhale. Once again, bring those arms up in front of you. Turn them around. Inhale on the way up. And release. Sit forward in your chair slightly and extend one leg forward. Make sure that your leg is, your foot is resting on its heels. Reach forward and feel the stretch. It's a hamstring stretch. You should feel a gentle tug at the back of your leg. And switch to the other side. Try and keep the leg as straight as you can and try and touch it if you can. But if you can't, don't force it switch to the other side. And last stretch. Great. Cross your arms over your chest and feel a stretch coming across your back, your tricep and your bicep. switch sides and hold and pat your back. That was a great workout. This concludes your session for today. Have a great day and remember to keep up with your exercise routine. The next time you exercise with this DVD, select warm-up exercises to begin right away.